You heard of Svengali? He took this girl, Trilby, who sang like a crow, and when he got through psyching her up, she could wail through Tosca without the orchestra? Well, I'll be honest with you, Linda Burns does not get results as good as that. But she does run this outfit called The Singing Experience out of her apartment on Park Avenue. And why the neighbors don't complain, I'll never know. Linda is a kind of cross between Dale Carnegie and one of the ladies the kids in singing on Romper Room. She doesn't promise to turn you into a pro. She says what she's about is communication, building self-confidence. Song is just the vehicle. Bank presidents have come to Linda's classes, so have accountants and nurses and secretaries. How many of you have a terrible fear about singing in front of other people? Right. There was one real agreement that I had that nobody says I can't. If this crazy lady says, do you sing the song in a French accent or sing it like a, a lullaby or any kind of crazy instructions I give you, take a chance. Don't say I can't. Everybody sings this line. La, 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 la. Everybody introduces himself. My name is originally Arlene Ross, but I changed it myself to Jazz Pink because I'm obsessed with pink. I've always been a closet singer, and uh, I've always performed for myself. Why I want to uh, polish my singing is because I, I like to everybody to sing when they come to my house. My name is Robert Leeds. This is my 91st singing experience. <laughs> no, this is my third. I, my third. And I'm a commodities trader uh, during the day. After four four-hour classes, Linda's students get to appear in a cabaret. This is what Linda has to say about that. At the end of this workshop, these people are going to feel like stars. They will have applause, they will have love, their families will make fuss over them, they'll be under the spotlight. And indeed, they are. The club performance is not for money, but to prove the students can get up in front of their friends and relatives and sing without fainting or falling down. It's good for the club, which furnishes free space in order to sell food and drink to the friends and relatives. It's good for the students. They prove they can stand there without fainting or falling down. Some people do duets. I miss the kisses and I miss the bites. I wish I were in love again. Broken dates, the endless waits. Of the love The conversation with the flying plates. I wish I were in love again. This is Linda's son, Jason. You, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall most famous reindeer of all? This lady gets a little help from her friends. was a good time. I'm Chris Chase in New York for CNN. You fantasize about being a nightclub singer. The lights and the applause send little shivers up your spine. Well, if you're a closet nightingale or a great star of the bathroom and the shower, have we got a surprise for you. La -la -la! This, ladies and gentlemen, is the singing experience. And take it from me, it's truly an experience. I'm here because I want to get over my fear of people in general. Everyone says she never does it. She says she's going to do it, and she never does it, and now I'm going to do it. This is the singing experience where you'll pay to get in, you'll pray to get out. <laughs> It's a course offered by the Learning Annex. La, la, and because la, la, anyone can join, la, 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 you tend to find the most unlikely types showing up here. Thank you, Lisa. What are the words again? La. Nice work, Gibbons. <laughs> okay, I won't cop out. From the top. La, 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 la,
la 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 la. Working on a new career, no doubt. Well, it all looks innocent enough, but on closer inspection, we found that this class has little to do with singing. Rather, it's a workshop in self-esteem. To Linda Burns, who's been giving the class for six years, confidence is half the game. Why I created these classes are for you to get out in the world, to take the classes, to get the coaching, but to really be up there on the stage, be glamorous, be excited, and have people applaud you and just say, thank you, I deserved it, I'm wonderful, I'm great. It also occurred to us that one of the quickest ways to achieve confidence in this class is through fantasy. For instance, this is Mario Lanza's twin brother, Nunzio. I'll be so raunchy. Would you buy Mae West? This is a famous song, by the way, I'm sure you don't have to call me Frank Sinatra. Just let me on the stage and let me Would you help me along with this, please? Okay. And that's, um, who is that, anyway? Believe it or not, I actually flunked out of singing 101. And I was so bad that my classmates asked if I would just kind of lay low and not mess up their big debut here at Dangerfields tonight and just kind of be on hand to cheer them on. So I'm here to do just that. And wait until you see this. I mean, for some of them, it was just a chance to get over a little bit of stage fright and learn how to be in front of people. But you never know, there may be a star in the crowd. Better luck next time, Gibbons. Now the fun part comes in after three of these sessions, when each of these courageous contestants gets to perform at Dangerfields, which, as you know, is not a bad gig. What the singing experience did for me is it gave me a confident, positive attitude about myself, which helped me perform. All those people with the, that stuff, whatever that stuff is, screaming to get out. Well, even after so many years of singing lessons, you know, it's all relative. You know, it's still screaming to get out.